So this is where the future of display heading towards transparent OLED displays. So hey, welcome everyone to Techies Miss YouTube channel where I make sure that my audience get the latest innovations happening in the electronics field. And today this video is about one of the greatest innovation, which is a transparent OLED display. So in this video, I'll let you know how to use that particular product, which is sent to me by one Chinese company. And I'll also let you know what kind of projects you can make using that. I will also let you know how to program it using Arduino IDE. And in the end, we'll also discuss about how like what's the future of transparent OLED displays is there any product already available in the market or what are the future scope what are the uh, products we can expect using this particular display so that discussion will be doing at the end of this video so stay tuned and you'll learn a lot of things by watching this video let's get started this video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software and that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature which I can't explain it in simple words, rather let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? The path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out and if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. So first let's talk about the box content. So this is the box which is sent to me by one company called as Liligo straight from China. And when I open this box, I get the display first. After that, I also get one USB type C cable for programming this board. And I also get an infrared remote just to, you know, control this particular product with the help of the infrared. Okay. So this is all about the box content. Now let us specifically talk about the actual product. So this is the product which is based on ESP32 chip. So you can expect the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity option built in. After that, it also has the inbuilt infrared sensor. As I already told, we can control this product with the help of the IR remote that comes along with it. Then we also have a built in tiny little battery of 105 milliampere hour, which is fitted inside this product only. And we have a type C port just to program this particular board. And we can definitely program this using the Arduino IDE. So this is all about the specs like hardware specs, but the main attraction of this product is its display. Okay. So this is the 1.54 inch transparent OLED display, which is blue in color. Okay. So this is just a single color LED display where we can just you know display images and text just in blue colors. Okay. So yeah, that was all about the hardware specs. Now let us power up this uh, product and let's see what comes up by default with this product. So when I powered up, first of all, I get to see the Liligo branding on the display. Now the display really looks very vibrant as we expect from any other OLED displays. Straight after that, I got to see a couple of options where I don't have any data because I haven't attached any sensor with this particular product. And soon after that, I get a kind of a dashboard, you can say, where I have different, different menus. Now let's just uh, take the infrared remote and uh, scroll through different, different menus. Now let's just go through each of the options one by one and let's see uh, what kind of, you know, applications are built in, in the default firmware. So first is about the clock. So this is kind of a desktop clock, which you can place it on your desk just to, you know, make it look more futuristic clock. Okay. And above the clock, there are two boxes which are empty as of now. And these boxes are meant to show the sensors data, maybe temperature and humidity, stuff like that. But as I already told, we don't have any sensor attached to it. So they are blank as of now. Now going back to the main menu and selecting the second option. So this is a game. Now this is an actual game which we can play. Okay. As you can see, now this is an actual game which we can play using the IR remote. Super, right? And not only that, we do also have one more game called as chess built inside the default firmware. And after that, we do have one option called as video in which this device plays a video built in and that looks really very dope. Just have a look over the video. And in the end, we have a last option called as sleep. By clicking on it, this device goes into the sleep mode. 
So yeah, that was all about the default firmware. So there are two games and a clock and a video built inside it. So you can just plug it and have a look over all the features without programming this board at the first time. Okay. Now let's just move ahead and let's see how we can use this product, how we can program this product to make our own projects. For that, I'll straight away jump onto the Arduino ID on my computer. So here is my Arduino ID. Now before moving ahead, we first need to install a couple of libraries for using this particular product. Okay. For that, we'll go to the official GitHub page of uh, Lilygo and here is all the necessary examples and necessary library to use this particular TTV display, you can say. Okay. So you just need to download the zip file of it. After downloading the zip file, you have to extract that zip file and inside that, go inside the library folder that is LIB and just copy all the uh, folders uh, provided here Then go back to documents into Arduino into libraries and just paste all that uh, library folders here. Okay. I'll click on replace so that will replace all the necessary folders. Okay. So with this, we have successfully installed all the required libraries for this example codes. Okay. Now I'll go back to that folder that we have downloaded and inside that folder, we have the example folder as well, where all the examples related to this Lilygo TTV board is provided. Okay. So these are the examples same as that we have seen in the default firmware. Now only difference is that inside the default firmware, we have all the codes combinedly, you know, uh, you know, flashed inside this particular board. Rather, these examples are kind of a specific code. For example, this bad apple code is specifically for playing video onto this particular board. Let me just open up this example code that will give you a you know much better idea. So here's the particular code. Now what I'll do is I'll straight away select the board as ESP32 dev board, select the right port and straight away hit the upload button. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and as you can see the video is playing onto this transparent display which we have already seen inside the default firmware. The only difference is it will only play the video on a loop and can't do anything rest of this while playing video. Okay, so this is how they have provided all the example codes separately for all the separate functionalities that we have combinedly seen into the default firmware and they also provided the default firmware which is nothing but this integrated demo code. If you upload this code, uh, hold a default firmware will be playing again okay so these are the example codes provided by the company and i also shown how to upload this code onto this particular board so that was all about the examples but other than examples i already made a couple of codes like two projects i made using this particular display i was just trying to you know uh use this display and uh, wanted to know how easy or difficult it is to program this board and what i found is as we program our ESP32 board in the same manner, we can program this particular product as well. So I will show you what kind of projects I have made. So first is I took the example of the simple web server code provided in the examples of ESP32 board. I changed this code a bit just to make it compatible with this particular display and I made a project like this. So whenever I click on this on button onto the web page, the display shows on on it. And whenever I click off on the uh, web browser, the display turns to off. Okay. So I made this simple project just to be familiar with how I can use this particular display with my, you know, pre-written codes or the example codes. It was pretty straightforward. So the next project which I made was using the IR remote. Okay. So here is the code, uh, which is based on the blink example code. So what is project about is, so whenever I press any button onto this uh, uh, IR remote, the IR signal are received by this Lilygo TTV. Okay. And after that, the ESP32, the Wi-Fi signals are sent to the Blink server, which ultimately turns on the bulb, which is connected to other ESP32 board. Okay. So basically I'm able to control the bulb via Blink server with the help of this IR remote. And not only that, the status of the bulb is also displayed onto that transparent OLED display. Now this project is really very cool. So these were the two projects which I tried to make using this board and trust me, it was really very straightforward. It is same as that we program our ESP32 boards. There are no complication, no errors, uh, no library mismanagement kind of support. Everything is pretty straightforward and you will be able to use it on the first attempt. So yeah, that was all about uh, uh, the features and the examples and how to program this particular board. Now let us talk about the transparent OLED screen in general. Okay. So this is a very tiny, you can say a product of this particular technology, but as of now, there are big 
TVs that exist in the market which has transparent OLED display. If I remember, uh, one is from LG, okay, so it's a full HD or maybe 4K TV, uh, which is kind of a transparent glass shade, but it's an actual transparent OLED display. And we can see all the videos on that particular display in full colors, okay. So that technology already exists in the market, but we can say it's like in first or second generation of this technology, and we can expect way more changes in this particular technology in near future okay so that's kind of one of the application of this technology which is inside the tv industry but uh, other than that what i think this technology can also be used inside the smart glasses okay so we have a glasses so at, uh, so we have so we wear the glasses so we will so we wear the glasses and uh, by default, it will be transparent. So we'll be able to visualize all the things and if needed, or if there's a notification, the notification will pop up onto the display and we can see that through our eyes. Okay. So that is one of the application, which I think can be made using this particular transparent OLED concept. Other than that, you all let me know, like, what do you think this technology, this kind of display will be useful in near future? Like, what do you think? What can be, what can be the application that can be made using this particular display? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments of the video. I'm really excited to know what different kind of applications can be made possible using this particular display. That being said, ending this video here. I hope you like this video. I hope you got to learn something new from it. I hope you love this OLED, like transparent OLED concept as much as I loved it. Okay. If it's so, consider liking this video, comment your thoughts, your suggestions regarding this particular product. And now just wait for my next video. Let's explore, learn, share with me. Take SMS.